so this is gonna be like a really short video <laughs> today um I'm still in the color mint, so I don't really want to bore you guys, like, you know, um, <laughs> but, uh, apparently this weather just wants to stay in this range, so I don't know when we're going to be doing a new color, but I thought, um, I could tell you about the yarn I'm using. I talked about it a little bit in my other video, but this is the Burnett Super Saver. Um, it's 100% acrylic. There's 7 ounces, 197 grams, or 440 yards. It's a medium four. Um, I am actually using a 5mm hook that I recommend. Um, and this is the mint color, of course. <laughs> um, so I was actually looking um, at my chart, and if I would have done the lows instead of the highs, I actually would have been using the color peacock today because the low was 32. But, you know. It's okay. Um, I could always, in the future, do another blanket if I wanted to, or something else where I used just the low. Um, so, and then I also um, noticed too that if I hadn't um, have used this sparkly yarn for my daughter's birthday it would have been four rows of the mint color so um you know it's it's okay if the temperature is probably gonna um hopefully get out of that mint range sometime soon so um not that i don't like the mint color i think it's a really pretty light green um green is my favorite color so I don't mind working with it. Um but yeah, so I'm curious um if anyone's making their own temperature blanket, like what colors you guys have decided to use or what pattern. This is just a simple single crochet every day, um, every row for the 365 um that I'm doing. My daughter's uh, temperature blanket that I'm making for her birth year, which was 2014, um, I actually used <laughs> uh, Paris, France as the um, place for the temperatures that I got, and she picked the colors, and I'm doing a 5.5 5 .5 hook. So it's a little bit bigger than this and hers is also like half double crochets because she wanted her blanket to be like bigger <laughs> so um hers is coming along pretty good i'm in the month of march getting ready to go into april and i used a i want to say it was uh weather underground was the website I used for that one, I think. It was one of the ones. I just looked up, um, like, historical weather, and I think it took me to that site, but I'm not 100% <laughs> sure. Um, but yeah, so this one's a little shorter. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to keep showing you every day if it's just mint. Um, I kind of thought, like, maybe if it was going to be meant tomorrow, I could just go ahead and, like, crochet the row and show you. But if it was, like, a different color, I would show you guys me, um, joining it like I did in one of the other videos. Um, 
but yeah, so I'm going to keep working on this, and sorry, I keep touching my face. My nose is really being terrible this morning. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's a little red, but um, I'm, I am excited for next Monday. I'm still having some issues with the email I'm supposed to be getting, so hopefully I'll have that figured out today so we can keep going towards the steps I need for my job, but, um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> usually I'm in a sweatshirt a lot, but this morning I was, like, really hot, so this is clean, by the way. You probably saw me wear it in one of my other videos, but, uh, I like wearing this shirt. My mom doesn't like it a whole lot because it's a Bigfoot shirt and she just thinks it looks silly. But it's comfy. I wear it to sleep in so I don't really, you know, mind it. But alright, I will see you guys next time. Bye!